Good morning, guys. We are back down here on our big clearing job. And uh, as advertised, we have got a significant amount of rain the last couple of days. And that is what you call a mud, folks. It is a muddy, muddy mess. But with that being said, the burn vein has been lifted. And we're going to try to take advantage of some wet weather, a little bit of a breeze here, and light this pile on fire. Let it rip. Just like any other piles to take off pretty good. What makes this one here quite a bit different than most of the brush piles is it's just a whole bunch of small stuff. There's nothing, there's nothing really big in there at all. But hopefully, like I said, hopefully if we can get her going, we can get her going. It is a pretty clean pile. I don't have a whole lot of uh, dirt in it because it was so dry when we ripped it out. But, Take a couple straw bells. We're gonna start over here on that far side. The wind's blowing at our face right now. Start over here on this far side. See if we can get a couple bells worked up underneath it. Let's see what happens. Jerry's got this damn pile so big. I don't know if I can get her to lift it up. I think I'm just gonna dig a little notch right in there and we'll dump them down in that notch. That'll work. Holy cow, that sun's bright this morning. Whoa, that's a big tree getting her roll down in there. One big tree. How in the world did Jerry get out of the boat? I'm going to take that and set it off the side because I don't want to roll it down on our heads while we're in there doing this. After we get her rolling, we'll set her back up there. That uh, tree that was on top? Yeah. He put that up there with a dozer. <laughs> <laughs> was he on top of the pile? Uh, he had to have been. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't here to witness it, but I know we, the excavator wasn't here yesterday. Oh, boy. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. 
So we got those bales just up off the ground a little bit. So hopefully we can get some air underneath them if we need to. Matt's going to get those on fire and we'll kind of take this pile and set it back on top of them. Like I said, the wind's blowing this way pretty good. So I'm ready to see smoke. I see smoke. I see fire. Toe jet wind was gonna shift as soon as we dug a hole. Never fails. Well, smoke follows beauty. It's coming right at me. It's coming at me first. That's just because you're in between us. No. You see, it's missing you. It's kind of veering that way, but it's all over. I don't know me. about that. Ah! That flame's getting bigger than what I thought. We got flames, and the wind can't decide which way it wants to blow. It was blowing this way. Now it's blowing this way. Sort of out of that way. It's just going everywhere. It is what it is. take long that sucker will be hot of the correct direction that will be helpful oh yeah that's it's great. uh it's acting like he's wanting to go for sure i don't think it's gonna take a whole lot to get her to well snap crackle pop that's always a good sign yep make your snap crackle pop a little more oh yeah baby turbo charger Is it getting a little toasty up there? We forgot our extension. We did. That's the extension. <laughs> it's cold out here. It feels good for a change. It feels good. It's really hot out here. I think she's got to go, boys. He's definitely a little bit of a smoker. I'm pretty sure they can feel the heat through the camera. It is hot. It's so hot we put the sun out. Yep. Literally. <laughs> it does look pretty cool through the black flames. Yeah, about 10 seconds all you gave her there, bud. When your clothes start smelling, they just come out of the dryer. <laughs> You're hot. It's probably time to back away. <clears throat> when your beard hair starts singeing, <laughs> it's time to back away. We got her coming all the way out the top up there now. Yeah, she's coming out up to there pretty good. We just got a good hot bed of coals in there. The natural breeze is helping too. 
Yeah. It's nasty stuff to be burning. It is, really. It's so small, it gets so dense. And it's so green. Yeah, if, if I, they can't see it, but up there that stick was dripping sap out of it. So should we explain to them that we say green, it's not the color, like it's not green wood? Well, it is green wood though. Well, but it's not the color <laughs> green. That's yeah. how I commented that one time. Why do you keep calling it green? It's not green. So seasoned means the sap is dried out of the tree. Green means it's still a live tree and there's sap throughout the entire tree and there's definitely sap in these yeah. not to mention most of them were standing in water so there's well, a, if you get a lot of liquid enough, they'll bake themselves out and they'll burn and that sap gets hot and is almost like a fuel isn't it yeah, yeah. well you know what so they went up on top gotta hold all that down and then uh i mean we were we were wanting you to do that five minutes ago i'm thinking I don't know how Bubba Dump's gonna do, but if we get this cooking, we might get a tire aired up on Bubba Dump, and we'll go down there and try to haul in piles down to this pile. Worst case scenario, we have to play in the mud. I mean, that always makes for a bad day, good. right? I think that is the scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's out here. He did, down there, Jerry came up to me, he goes, somebody's been down there spending donuts with the truck. I said, Jerry, you're right. Yeah, you know, I wasn't here. He said, what's the deal with that? I said, it was my truck. My property, my own time. I took advantage of it. <laughs> Question is, did you video it? I did. There you go. I did. And was it a real donut? Were you able to get the G-forces to sling it, the truck around? It was around? more of a slide and pray scenario. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like when I was standing on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bite, but please bite, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't. I was worried about hitting the excavator, and I almost put her in the ditch, but I saved it. Almost only counts in horseshoes, horseshoes and hand grenades. Exactly. I think she's gonna go. Also known as hand shoes and horse grenades. Let's put that. Uh, let's put that big one up on top. Hold her down, then we'll get a tire aired up and see what happens. Perfect. Big boy going up. Mr. Millennial, the wind is blowing the right direction. The fire is definitely hot and getting hotter. I think she's gonna go. I think I have a sunburn from the fire. <laughs> I don't want to leave it. We need to go do, we need to go air up the tire on Bubba Dump, but. Well, you can stand there and soak up the heat. I it feels so nice and toasty right here. It is. All right. I guess it's time to go play in the mud. The one tire that was giving us trouble the other day is uh, flat again, so some point we're gonna have to do something about that but today is not gonna be the day we're just gonna air it up again i guess i think i'm gonna video you back in this trailer through the mud <laughs> what? that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> you give me that camera and you get in that truck we got? uh not enough you gotta get way closer <laughs> nope i think you might even have to tell off in that corner just a little bit to make it I'm gonna stand over. <laughs> <laughs> better him than me not that we can't get it out of that ditch, but it'd really suck if it was in that ditch. The road base here is really got a lot of gravel and chert. It's not that there's not a solid base, but if anybody's going to get the brand new trailer hung up, I, I'd prefer it to be him this time because it was me last time. You guys can see how solid that is. Oh, I don't know if we got enough hose to make it over there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like I said, better him than me. This corner down in here is pretty soft. That's a pretty nasty corner. That'll get it. Good old Thunder Creek trailer will get us that far, I believe. Let's see if she'll reach. That is an absolute superb mud bay vacuum job. Uh-huh, I agree. That's why I kept telling them, better you than me if it don't go well. Uh, we need to make a check. The smart thing would have been to uh, just bring an extra hose along. Yeah, well, we wanted to have fun today. I guess, uh, Go ahead and get this thing built in there. Let her warm up a little bit. Looks like we got a flat tire over here too. My goodness, little Bubba dump. Mud was rough on her. Man. It's only flat on the bottom. Yeah, it looks good on top. Yeah, let's I'd... just use it. It'll come right out of that. She's going, I see her going up. This is where we need one of those little emojis. Five minutes later. Say it up. I think it'll be more than five minutes. I do think it'll be more than five minutes. Ten minutes later. Or do we do this? That's the other option, right? Magic's, magic's not working this morning either. <laughs> Our fire's are going though. All right, got tires aired up. Truck's good to go. It's gonna be interesting to see how this thing gets along today. Hopefully it slides around and does all right. So pile's definitely burning good, so that's a plus. Pile's actually burning real good the closer I get to it. That it's burned one heck of a hole in there. Heck yeah. Nice. All right, let's go load some brush. These are all those piles that I kind of laid out the uh, last video there whenever it was raining. Got a little too far to push them down, especially with the conditions now. So, like I said, the plan is, is hopefully we can get them loaded up on Bubba Dub, get across the field here without any major issues. And get them thrown up on the uh, brush pile. Make them all disappear. I'm gonna try to load my right here. We'll make you keep our mess over here that's not out in the field. Tell you what, Bubba Dump without a tailgate on it, it is super nice for hauling this brush. Not as convenient for hauling mud, but for hauling brush, it's pretty nice.
See if we can get her dumped. The camera never shows what that fire looks like, but that thing is uh, cooking. It's halfway through that pile already. Get some more pile out of that headway. Yeah, bring her on back, see what We'll get the excavator down here and kind of sort this all up, but uh, cut towards me a little bit and we'll go back so you too much. Oh, I should be in the bumper and swap all this. You know, I say, well, this is the excavator down here and already stopped all this, but I'm hoping we can maybe swap that pile over. Just lay it on the car, that'd be awesome. He's gonna do it. Get a run out of there, Matt. She's just too slick. Let's go dump about two or three of them there, and then we'll bring Traco down and throw them up. If it was drier, I think we could have got that flopped over, but. The mud's just not going to allow us to do it. You think I can have it? I think it's just too wet. I want to try. I really want to try. try it. <laughs> it's a dump truck, got a bulldozer. <laughs> Well, you got one load down here that getting stuck. Yeah, it still amazes me how well this truck does.
Aren't you being all nice? Look at that! <laughs> About lost me. Done went and dented it again. Look. I'm beginning to think I picked a bad spot. <laughs> I think I picked a bad spot. <laughs> Well, heck, that's for you all. You all right there in the camera. I'm getting down now. If I can get down through here, load of number two, man, it just amazes me how much brush you can get on that truck and haul. Sun stays out of me. I still end up being a nice day. Look at old Bubba go. C8500 would not be doing that this morning. I think we'll probably haul one more, one more pile down here and then we'll bring the uh, excavator down and get her all piled up. Just don't have the traction part. Man, it's hot. Love it. All right, she'll get one more load. Probably not gonna be my best decision ever.
Daniel. All right, dump me out. Oh, you beat dirt clock. Here we go. That's one heck of a taxi service right there. Let me tell you. Alright, this is a pretty small pile here. We can probably get this one part of that next one on there. I was thinking about there if we build our custom exhaust for old Bubba. We can put some sort of cab protector on there so we hold a brush like this. We ain't gotta worry about it getting out on top of the cab. Just a random thought I had the last couple job so we hold some brush pull on down that next pile I'll get a few bites out of it to top you off I would leave it on the truck till I get down there. All right, Matt's taking off with what? He's dang near the last load on this side. I'm gonna try to grab this little bit of a pile here. We're gonna head down, see if we can get her, get her shoved up, and get her cooking. say that's about 20 foot 15 to 20 foot tall now and boy is she hot
last few crumbs of the first three loads. There she is guys, she is roasting pretty good. The camera just does not show the fire all that well. We're gonna let her burn down a little bit before we throw any more on her. We got a couple piles over here on the other side of the ditch I got piled up. We'll bring over, toss on, and then we, uh, we may need to start ripping out some more trees and just keep going good. All right guys, we just got back from lunch in the center of this pile. That's burned out very, very nice. We're gonna take and kind of get her throw it up here one good time and we'll go over on the other side of the ditch and get the rest of that stuff and bring it over. Hello. It's burning up good. Sun's staying out, starting to dry up. Things are looking up and up today. Smoking! She's stacked up and cooking pretty good again. Let's uh, slide down the little hill here and load some more brush. I put this pile here. I was kind of planning on uh, burning it right here, but that pile over there is burning so good. The whole of this brush is going so well. I think we're going to try to haul it over there. Kind of got that in a little bit of a serious situation for loading the dolomite. 
Articulate your truck towards me so I can kind of line up with you better. Out of the way. Out of the way. Keep going. 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 Can you back up a little bit now? I'm saying it's not the ideal load scenario. I'm tied down the hole. He's up on that Betty Road, but they'll think it's going to be time ahead. Load it up and get her out of here. I don't know if you guys can see off the distance that that fire is cooking again. It's back up to the top of the pile. So. I think your best bet's going to say a little prayer and try to go out there and turn around like make a loop around that blue bucket and come back. As you can see, I tried to do that earlier with across the hill, but we're going to hammer down and see what happens. All right, turn, articulate a little bit. Let me check your, check your exhaust. Uh, yeah, can you hop up there and flip that one over? Let me walk up there with the, uh, I'll tell you what, just raise the bed up about a foot. There you go, you're good, that's all you need. Simple solution. Oh, that's not looking good, folks. Oh, it's still climbing. Come on, mama. Oh yeah, baby. dumped and load the rest is up all right i got load number two on mine let's see if he can get this one out of here come on bubba don't let us down now We're sliding down the hill towards the bucket. <laughs> Just missed it. All right, so the next load might even get more interesting yet. I'm hoping we can back. back the truck down in there we got one more pile of brush right down there and then we may start plucking some more trees up and just let them stay on the truck i think this is going to be plenty solid right here along the ditch we should be able to uh get bubba in there without a whole lot of trouble famous last words right now that fire is good and hot it's doing just what we thought it would look how fast it's already burned down 
We'll go ahead and get this pile thrown up on there. Probably walk over and pitch it together one good time. Days like today, if I didn't have the truck, we either would have to take the excavator and pack it all over there, hook it and thumb at a time, or just make a bunch of small multiple fires and keep them going. But man, if you get one big hot fire like that going, it makes such a big difference on getting stuff rid of stuff. And you got that many less messes to uh, clean up, so. Matt, you come back in here. I'm gonna have you probably back right down along the uh, ditch there on that grass way. See if I can get up that next pile and get it loaded. All right, let's track down here. See if we can get this one loaded up. Come towards me a little bit. Towards me, towards me, towards me, towards me, towards me. All right, I'll angle your bed the other way a little bit. Hold that. Hold that, hold that. Pull up, pull up. Hold that. All right, I got Matt loaded down. As long as he don't slide off in that ditch, I think he's gonna be fine. Get those last few loads thrown up on the fire and come back and start ripping out some more trees. Big old brush pile. Mr. Millennial, I don't know how to describe how big that pile is. Well, earlier, before you stacked it even higher, I told him that's about 15 to 20 feet. Why don't you go stand up there, just to give him perspective. I don't mind the warm spot yeah. <laughs> what, uh, well, you're... <laughs> I'm six foot tall. So. It's at least three and a half or four of you. Yeah. Oh, wind, man. The it's it's just going perfect. Yes. Blowing it right into the ball. Field. Glad we don't I'm not working down that way. Yeah. This is very true. All right, we're gonna let that burn down for a little bit. I think while it's burning down, we're gonna go over here and just kind of piddle around, pluck out some more trees and such. But uh, 
I'll sweat that bird for about an hour and we'll check back in on it. Well guys, we have been hammered down this afternoon. I kind of forgot about you. I apologize for that. But I'll show you what we've got done. It's probably about the 15th or 16th load of brush that's come out here in the last couple hours. This little section over here, we got it all knocked out. It's all on the pile and pretty much been burnt. But this is the next obstacle we got ahead of us. I've been all the way around this thing. Matt's on the other side of it there now, if you guys see him. But this is an old pond. I have no idea what it was for, why it was here, or what its purpose was in life. Somebody at some point's already busted the dam. This section of the dam's missing. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's what a little bit of the dam is left. And the water you see in the bottom, that's the water table. That is the same level as the water out there in the ditch. So draining it is not really much of an option we're just gonna have to kind of kind of uh push some dirt in here and shove the water out and see what we can do but first thing we need to do this is the last thing on this side of the ditch to get the trees off of i'm thinking it's solid enough i can get the excavator in here and not have to worry about sinking if we get to worried about it we'll start laying some of these trees down and walking on them but we're kind of running out of time here this evening. I need to go back over there and push the fire up, but I'm so dang close to having this done. We're going to keep going at it and see if we can get her. All right, we're going in. Just want to go down. Looks dangerous, to say the least. One of those things for sure. This whole big thing is like a big thing of jello right now. As long as it don't fall through the crust, we will be alright. Well, we're definitely playing in the mud, but this is uh, a little better than I thought it was going to be. Surprisingly, somehow, it's so far, it's got a pretty solid bottom to it, I figured out. This is a pleasant surprise, but still slows me down a little bit because I gotta track everything over to pop it down. But I don't think nothing's gonna get through here. I pretty much got this side done. I'm gonna throw this one on Matt, let him take it over and dump it. And we're gonna go down the other side over there. Come on, baby. Dump it out the back, not off the side. <laughs> well, we are so close to having this done, it's ridiculous, but we are running out of daylight, running out of time, running out of room on the truck. We're just gonna have to wait for tomorrow, so I'm gonna throw this on back. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna follow him over there before I get that fire thrown up one last time. Call it a day. up nicely all this we have hauled in that well you can't see my buckets in the way the main part of the pile has burnt down so we're back up there again oh we're going for the big grab there Man, that machine's nice. That's a fire, folks. Holy cow. Look out. We got flames all the way out here, all the way underneath, and all the way out the top. That's what you want to see when you're burning brush. That breeze is helping. I had an oxygen. Wow. We even got us a nice little fire tornado up there. Sounds like a jet engine. That's just going straight up. I don't know how much longer that turbo is going to whistle in there. <laughs> Oh, he's putting more on top. Nope, nope, we made only made it on the side. I said, I'll dump it out, Mike. No, no, let me pull it out of the back of the truck. Okay. What am I gonna do with him? I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there's still hot coals right there. This side is liable to take off any second. Pretty 
There she is, guys. She's absolutely ablazing and gonna burn for a good little bit. It is hot and actually feels pretty good because it is getting cool outside. But that's gonna be a wrap for today. We got a lot knocked out, especially as muddy as what it is. But hopefully tomorrow, we'll get down here. This pile will mostly be gone and we're gonna jump over and start hauling stumps and get this 100% ready for Jerry to come in here and do his thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give a big old thumbs up. Wanna make sure you don't miss out on what this pile looks like in the morning. I consider subscribing. That way we can catch you guys on the next one.